The capital of Sichuan province and the largest city in southwest China, Chengdu, is one of the most amazing cities in China. Chengdu is located in the Sichuan province, which boasts some pretty spectacular architecture that represents various time periods and styles throughout history. Chengdu has been developing rapidly in recent years, but it's also been developing historically as well. That means that you can find all kinds of beautiful architectural structures throughout the city, some of them thousands of years old. The city's history may be traced back to 2,400 years when the first emperor constructed his capital here and called it. Its ancient name has been retained through thousands of years, as has its role as the capital and an important hub of politics, trade, and military activity in the Sichuan province, formerly known as Shu. The region has been famed for its brocades and embroidery since the Han. 206 BC minus 220 and Tang 618 to 907 dynasties when its handicraft industry thrived. Chengdu has a population of around 15 million and is located in the Fertile Basin at the headwaters of the Yangtze River. The ancient city wall that once surrounded Chengzhou dates back more than 1,500 years ago. Originally built during the Eastern Jin Dynasty, 317 to 420, this wall was strengthened many times during later dynasties and became one of China's most complete ancient city walls with its 13 gates and 72 watchtowers. <laughs> In addition to its rich architectural history, Chengdu is also undergoing significant development as it becomes an important part of China's One Belt One Road initiative, along with becoming one of the most popular tourist destinations in China, development has been seen all over the city. The city houses some magnificent ancient buildings that are exemplary of traditional Chinese architecture, but it has also developed rapidly since opening up to foreigners following the founding of New China in 1949.
recent years, economic growth has enabled Chengdu to strengthen domestic and international trade ties. The city now has a GDP of nearly 267 billion USD. Such expansion brings prosperity and new opportunities. Other recent developments include Terminal 3 at Xuanliu Airport, which opened just last year and hosts both domestic flights and international flights to Korea and Japan. Development is seen not only in airports, but throughout Chengdu from the Century City District, a $30 billion project set to be completed by 2025. To renovation projects along Renmin Road, where new apartments are going up all around old buildings that have been preserved as historical sites. In 2012, Shenzhen overtook Shanghai to become mainland China's most competitive large city, while Chengdu ranked fourth on Forbes magazine's list of Asia's 10 most innovative cities behind Tokyo and Singapore. Chengdu has emerged as one of China's most significant economic, financial, commercial, cultural, transportation, and communication hubs. Its economy is varied, with sectors such as machinery, automobiles, medicine, food, and information technology dominating. Chengdu is also home to several multinational enterprises, with over 270 Fortune 500 corporations having built operations there. The city also has more than 16 foreign consulates, making it the fourth main city in China with the most foreign diplomats after Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. During World War II, refugees escaping the Japanese in eastern China arrived in Chengdu. Following the war, Chengdu served as the capital of the Nationalist Democratic Republic until it relocated to Taipei on the island of Taiwan. With time, however, traditional Chinese styles would once again come into popularity after the end of World War II. In more recent times, Chengdu has developed rapidly with high-rise buildings and modern architecture making up much of the cityscape. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so please hit the like button below and make sure you subscribe to see our new future videos. Also please let us know in the comment section what is your favorite place that everyone should visit. Be blessed and thanks for watching.